Let's take a look at how to subtract one shape from another here in Adobe Illustrator. So I quickly drew the Apple logo. I know it looks amazing, doesn't it? But it's missing something, and that is the bite out of the apple. So how can we subtract a shape from this shape? You can see that this shape is, well, it's simply a shape. It's kind of a compound shape, but it's just got this filled area and this filled area. What I can do is create a circle out here to subtract it from the uh, apple itself to create a bite out of the apple. So we're going to grab the ellipse tool. I'm going to change the color, not because you have to. Also, I just changed the color of the apple. So I'm going to deselect the apple, then click the ellipse tool, then change the color. And like I said, you don't have to. I'm just doing it so we can see the difference here. So I'm going to create an ellipse and I'm going to hold shift to make it a circle. So I think that's probably about the right size for the bite, right? We can press the V key, kind of drag this shape over the other, just like this. And then I'm going to click and drag and select both the shapes that I want to sort of cut out from each other. So what I want to do is subtract the circle shape from this apple shape to create the bite. My favorite tool to do this is the shape builder tool. Shift M is the shortcut key. That is this little double uh, I saw a commenter on one of my videos said it's like the snowman icon, but it's like two circles with a pointer on it. So once we have that out here, you can see how it highlights the different areas. Remember, you have to have both shapes selected to be able to do this. But what we do is we hold the option key or we hold the alt key if we're on a PC, and we can basically click and subtract shapes. So we can subtract these different shapes out. And these two, don't mind these two anchor points, they're left over from the shape I created of the apple. But we can click to subtract them. You can see that the minus icon shows up when we hold Option or Alt. We can also click and drag to subtract them. And I might be able to get rid of these points too, just by kind of dragging over them. But once we do that, anything we dragged over will also just delete out. And I did get those anchor points, so that was nice. And now we have a bite out of the apple. So we subtracted one shape from another. Real easy to do that with the Shape Builder tool. If you have a more complex thing going on, for instance, if this was not just a bite out of the apple, but maybe this was a bunch of different polka dots that I wanted to cut out of this apple shape, well, sometimes that could be tedious to do with the Shape Builder tool. So another option is the Pathfinder tools. You can see them in your Properties panel. I do have everything selected again, and I have the shapes that I want to be cut out. They're on top of the apple right now. So we can look at some of these Pathfinder options. We can look at more options in here to see all of the different options. We can find Unite, which will unite them together. We can say minus front. That's probably a good one here. We can subtract the front shapes from the shape and back. So let's try that and see what happens. That one isn't the right one, so that one didn't work out very well. So let's try this again. We'll select all that stuff. And yes, this is exactly how uh, this kind of happens. Let's try exclude. Okay, so exclude worked. It changed the color of our apple, but it did exclude all of the circles. So it cut the circles out of the apple. And we could just quickly change the apple color back. It's probably because we had that swatch selected and it just applied that swatch to whatever was left over um, of our vector element here. And we could change that back, but... That is also another way that you can subtract. Now, the reason I like the Shape Builder tool is because I know exactly what I'm doing. With the Pathfinder option, I would have expected minus front to have worked. It didn't. Instead, it was exclude. So sometimes the Pathfinder is a little bit of a guess and check game to try to divide or exclude, you know, these different things. It's, you don't really know what they're going to do exactly, but you kind of know. So you just kind of have to click through them and undo if you accidentally do the wrong thing. That is a couple different ways how you can subtract one shape from another here in Adobe Illustrator.